Okay, so while that. we got everyone's attention, do you guys want to do this? <laughs> no, the uh, pineapple. Why don't you want to Okay, oh, so yeah. do you guys already yeah. start talking about food? We're going to do this thing. All right, folks. So originally question three is now being moved to question uh, two. Um, and it was our wacky choice, but we're going to open up our wacky choice segment with a challenge that Sarah uh, and myself noticed going down on TikTok. So um, anyone who kind of is on, on TikTok killing time like us uh, has noticed there is a watermelon mustard challenge. Um, so we've all got our watermelon here. And uh, I think you have to use French's mustard is what they recommend. Uh, I'm going to play the video so you guys can see it. It's a 30 second clip by uh, a TikToker named Yaya Yummy. Um, I oh, this guy is not real. Come on. <laughs> he, well, he's, he's a guy. Um, I take all my food he, advice from Yaya Yummy. Come yeah, on. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a bunch of like ideas on his site. So I'm going to play the I'm going to play this clip. We're going to react to it for a second. And then we're going to dive into this and see um, if anyone <laughs> has to tap out and step out for a second. So, folks, here's the here's the video clip from his Yellow Mustard. Uh, trust me on this. It is so good. Grab yourself a juicy watermelon. Oh, no. Cut that baby up. Juicy. Get yourself some French's yellow mustard. It has to be French's. Pour that sucker on Ugh. and cheers. I don't know. Oh. It's so tangy, it's so vinegary, and it matches so well with the watermelon sweet juiciness. Trust me, this is so good. That kills me when he puts more on it. That I'm not sure about that. So uh, so follow him on YouTube. I mean, on, on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a whole bunch of other weird. I'm not gonna lie. Comedy. I feel nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, when he puts the second swig of mustard on there, um, I kind of go like, whoa. Right. I know so when I, like I know when I'm eating a hot dog, I always think to myself, this could use some watermelon or more. Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're we're gonna get. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we're, gonna get, we're gonna get ready. It looks like Sarah and Gordon are already ready. So if you guys are at home, you guys can definitely try this out. So um, I don't know what evidence. Wait, are you guys, guys mustard fans in general or no? I'm a watermelon <laughs> fan, not a mustard fan. So this okay, is so I'm kind of, yeah. I'll, I occasionally will have mustard. You know what the best mustard on is a <laughs> McDonald's cheeseburger. That's my only time it's acceptable is to have mustard. But. Chris, Chris got the fancy look. Butters is like, yo, give me some of that. And you're like, yo, oh, I don't Chris, know. what are you, wait, 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 Gordon Ramsay plating your food? <laughs> you <laughs> you 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 should have put it around like it's like that that, that, that dessert swirl or whatever. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. Oh, my God. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do this live. Um, who's got the most of it? Oh, you guys are each doing it. Okay, so I'm the only one that kind of did it like he did on the video. All right. So in, uh, I guess, three, two, one. Three, right. two, one. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Oh no, no. What's his name? Yaya yeah, Ma? Yo, yeah. You're Yo, wrong, Ma. dude. You're wrong. <laughs> Go with the fancy mustard. <laughs> Screw that toxic yellow junk. You know, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try one more piece. I, I feel like I could throw up. But I feel like it something might be here. I don't know what it is. I'm going to get out the good mustard. I'm going to try it with some of the maple mustard. See how that goes. Okay. Well, now uh, you're I'll switching to... up. Okay, here. Ready? Check this out. Yeah, I'm going to watch you because I can't do it again. <laughs> okay, ready? Cool. Okay, Sarah's going again. <laughs> if she's going again, then, then something. <laughs> something okay, Gord, Gord's got the knife going. And you kind of like <laughs> nicely spread it out. No. Okay. Gord's good. Sarah... And I oh, hate right, mustard. Well, yeah. Okay, no, interesting. So let's, let's, go. Better. Let, let's go. Let's go. My is better. <laughs> let's, let me go to my brother first because it looks like he's he's recovered from it the, the soonest. What do you think, Chris? Oh, I know you already kind of expressed your feelings a little bit, but how are you feeling after that? I, I didn't like that, man. That was like, <laughs> I don't know. It just I like mustard. I like watermelon. But together, I don't know. It didn't seem right. It was like kind of like <laughs> two disparate things coming together that they didn't really complement each other to me. It was kind of. That's just mustardy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Must have kind of overpowered you, I think it. You, yeah, maybe if you ha could evenly spread it. But basically, I took a bite of it mm. and the watermelon. It tastes good, and then you hit this big glob of mustard, and you're like, "I'm just eating yeah. mustard at this." Like point. you, you, so, you get the, <laughs> the texture of the watermelon, I guess, and then watermelon's not that strongly flavored to begin with, and then the mustard comes and just obliterates. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Rob, Rob, what do you? Rob's like dying. All right, Rob, what do you? What are you feeling? I don't know what I'm feeling. <laughs> Let me, okay. The first piece, I was intrigued. <laughs> the second piece is killing me. <laughs> um, 
you know what? It's not atrocious, but it sure as shit isn't tasty. Like, it's not something I would do. I would not be having a picnic on a nice hot June day with a watermelon and be like, wait, 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 and running back inside to grab mustard. I think part of the problem with this is that I inhale, like, when you eat, sometimes you like, you breathe as you're, you know, you go to eat. And if you get that that mustard all of a sudden that goes in, you're, it throws you right off. I know. So... Um, thanks for recommending this. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't we have it on again, video, no. so it's going to last forever. So I think that was great. Like, I'm I've very seen, excited. I've for seen that. people put put salt on watermelon before, and and that, and that seems to be all right. But yeah. so Sarah, Sarah, what do you what do what do you what did you think of that TikTok? I think, it, it, yeah, it's not something I have on a regular, but it, it made mustard not taste as bad to me. I guess <laughs> yeah, I hate mustard. Like I won't put mustard on anything. So. It's, uh, yeah, it, I don't know. There's something about, I don't know, like what he said, there's something about like the vinegar taste to it. And then it just kind of doesn't, it's not as harsh to me, the taste of the mustard. So I don't know. It's okay. All right, Gordon, as you wash it down with everything in front of you, <laughs> how are you, it, it seemed like you were just kind of like, oh, it's, you know, every Monday you're just like spreading the mustard on your, <laughs> on your watermelon. How, how'd you feel about that TikTok challenge? Uh, don't try that at home. There's like, <laughs> There's no need for certain combinations yeah. of flavors, you know, like that's not like peanut butter and chocolate. That's that's at the end of a picnic and there was a mistake and you're still really, <laughs> really hungry and you're like, no, oh, why not? You know, and you eat so, like, no, I think that's just, I think that video proves that some people can succumb to anything that happens on the internet <laughs> and they're willing to try things and you shouldn't. So, hey, listen, you know what? I think that, it's I, as somebody who has partaken uh, numerous times in past lives uh, with um, with a bunch of weed. I have <laughs> I have made weird maybe that's the missing ingredient. <laughs> I've made weird concoctions like you know blueberry egos with peanut butter and like maple syrup and like thinking it's amazing. And then when you're sober, you're like, this doesn't taste well. I think that this is one of those things that people were probably really high. And thought, hey, this is cool. Let's let's make something out of this. And it's not. You maybe when you're high, it's something that you may enjoy, but not when you're sober. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe this guy's messing with us because I'll read off a couple other combinations he's posted on his TikTok, and you guys can raise your hands if you really want to try these combinations. So one is graham crackers and fish sauce. No. <laughs> <Which sounds good. laughs> no. Another another one is chili oil and vanilla ice cream. Um, chili another oil. one is. Vienna sausage and hot Cheetos. Um, what is pickles and peanut butter, which I feel like might be up Gord's alley. <laughs> and what is strawberry and soy sauce and wasabi? I feel like wasabi will just overpower whatever you're throwing in there. So yeah. you guys can go ahead and check out his TikTok. And if you try any of these those challenges, definitely videotape it and send it to me so I, we can post it on here. <laughs> Scott's already like, nope, nope, nope. I don't know why I'm clicking <laughs> It, so, it sounds like he's very he's very clumsy in the kitchen, and he'll be like reaching for the fish sauce and like just drop it in his food. And like, oh, I'll try it <laughs> out. 